Hey everyone, in this episode, I'm gonna replace or if you're gonna do upgrade the power supply on this Dell Optiflex. This is the Optiflex uh, 790 empty mini tower, and I'm gonna replace it with a 600 watt uh, thermal take power supply. Uh, the only reason I'm replacing the or upgrading the power supply on this machine is because I'm gonna upgrade the video card because the power supply that came with it doesn't have any PCIe uh, power on it there's no power cable like this one where's the PCIe? I can't find the PCIe it doesn't have these thing so let's open this up and show you how to replace it in the back there's four screws so you need to remove one two three four so, let's remove that first if I open it up it's not gonna fall because this for this one is locked in preferably you put it sideways but I'm just doing this for demonstration two Open the Dell of the place, just pull this that lever, and here's the power supply. Now we we'll remove the four screws. Normally, like I said earlier, you take out, the, you lie this on the on its side and remove the screw that way. But I got lazy. So next thing we need to do is remove the power supply. I mean the cables first. <coughs> Let me see. So remove the motherboard power supply. The 24 pin one. Push this little pull, push the little tab over here. And push that and pull up. Now we here, there's a four pin uh, this one here. Remove that four pin CPU power. Next remove the SATA power supply cable. And there's two more over here. Now uh, make sure that thing is attached. Okay, that's all the cables this thing comes with. One, two, three, four. Uh, so that's all the cable that it comes with. Four SATA cables. One twenty-four pin power mother. Twenty-four pin cable and four pin cable that's it and uh, now to remove this there's a little tab over here you, you can uh, push down see the blue with the blue I don't know if the camera can see it, this one push that down all right so we push this blue thing here and with your other hand push this this way and lift That was easy. Now we put the new power supply in. So when you're gonna put the new power supply, make sure the whole match. There's one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So, so this thing will line up with this hole here. Okay, you can't go the other way. Okay. All right, now to install the new power supply. Grab the cables here, put it in there, and slide it this way. See, there you go. Now you put the screws. We're done with the screws. The Cable management is going to be bad on this one, I don't really care. Alright, now first thing we're going to do is put the motherboard power supply. So It goes to where the little, there's something sticking out here. So this thing can grab, so you can just line up, 
it only goes one way, so it's hard to make a mistake. And the next one is the power for the CPU. So this thing comes with a there's an 8 pin on this one and a 4 pin 12 volts. So just a 12 volt. Again, it only goes one way. Big hands. Then the rest, you put the power for the SATA cables. I mean, the power for the SATA drives. So this thing too only goes one way, okay? It's a little, see the shape? It's a little, an L, little L. There's a light, this one goes here, so it matches with the, the way the hard drive looks. It goes this way. All right, so this is how you upgrade or just if your power supply broke uh, replace the power supply all right so thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video please subscribe like and uh, click that notification bell yeah, okay thank you and i uh, hope to see you next time bye bye bye, -bye.